welcome back to my channel nadine's 360 living now i am back with some absolutely fantastic tier tree diys and i got so much inspiration from all of the wonderful youtube community from the pinterest community and it's been fantastic and i've searched and I've swapped out some of the items that I can't find here in the UK and I have come up with some absolutely lovely tiered tray DIYs. I've got mini book stacks and where I use my Cricut machine and everything to get it really done really nicely. I've got um, faux lemonade, faux lemon slushies, I've got some whisks that I, some mini whisks that I'm gonna DIY to use as tear tray decor. I've made bead garlands and I've got some scoops as well. And they're supposed to be ice cream scoops, but they're really small and I'm going to decorate them for tear trays. And I've got also some mini signs and some mini rolling pins. So it's an absolutely packed video, packed with DIYs, packed with inspiration and ideas that I hope you'll take and you'll make something of your own. I hope that I can inspire you to get into tear trays because I absolutely love them. I knew nothing about tear trays until last year when, when I started seeing quite a bit of them on YouTube because truth be told I didn't watch um, lots of home decor DIY videos on YouTube prior to 2020 but I am absolutely sold and I love home DIY home decor I love seasonal decor decorating for the different seasons I love transitional decor that you can use for the different seasons you know just swap in and swap out a few pieces and you can make it easter decor you can make it spring summer autumn winter christmas you know i'm absolutely loving it so i hope i'm able just to share a little bit of inspiration with you and i hope that you will catch the diy crafting bug and then you'll be off on your way just to enriching enriching it's very enriching doing the diys and crafting and just be on your way to enriching your life enriching yourself so we're going to pop right along and i'm going to show you all of the lovely diys that i have made So for this first DIY, what I'm making is a, a frame of sorts. Now what I've done is I've cut out two half oval shapes out of a bit of um, cardboard from one of my packages from Amazon. And I've also cut a tiny circular piece, two pieces of cardboard, and, and, and I've sandwiched that between those two shapes that I'm showing you there now what I'm going to be using that for is to make a beehive so my end result should be a lovely little frame with a beehive some flowers and some bees now I plan to wrap it with jute twine and I'm going to use my hot glue and my jute twine and I'm going to continue to wrap it around until I completely cover it. In a little while you'll see me speed up this bit here because it's quite tedious 
wrapping the jute twine round and round the piece of cardboard and because I've got that thin jute twine it takes quite a while to get it completely covered. Now this is quite slow progress but after I get going it does go really quickly and trust me when I tell you the end result is really cute. Well at least I think so. It really does turn out lovely. So it takes a bit of time to get everything started, get the glue on, get the first couple of rows on and then it's easy to build up once you've got the first couple of rows done. Now I won't let you suffer watching me wrap it round and round and round for ages so I'm going to jump to the next DIY and you will see the end result of this very lovely very cute beehive frame at the end of my DIY video. okay lovely so now for our second DIY what I will be making is a few glasses of lemonade and I am going to be making full lemonade using wax pellets that I got in a candle making kit some years ago and just never managed to use so I am crafting my stash and I am making use of what I've got on hand and these little glasses of lemonade will adorn my tea trays so here you can see I've had my lovely daughter 
help me out and she's melted the wax so I am adding the wax to the glasses and later on you're going to see me add just a little touch of yellow chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and we're going to mix that in and I'm also going to add a bit of glitter and we're going to keep mixing till the wax starts to set and see if we can't get our little glasses to look like full lemonade like slushies or something like that I'm going for I'm just taking a wee bit of time here and I'm just cleaning off a tiny bit of wax that spilled on my cutting board. Now I'm going to pop right along and let you watch a little bit more of this DIY video. So firstly, I'm adding this beautiful yellow glitter that I was able to find at Wilco's and I think it came in a pack of about four or five different colours and it was for round about the £1.50 mark and I am so so happy to have found it because I could not find the perfect shade of yellow anywhere else. So I was so happy to pop into Wilco's and find it there. So now I am going to mix this glitter into the wax. And here I'm showing you my, I think it's a mustard shade of Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And as I mentioned before, that will also be added and everything will be mixed in in an effort to get that yellow lemonade color. Now while this wax works really really well and it gives a really amazing slushy effect, another idea that I've seen recently on YouTube has been using resin. So later on in another couple of days or maybe another week or so I will be trying to make some little glasses of lemonade using resin. Now moving right along into my next DIY, I will be making a drinks dispenser. You know in the summer you can get those glass drinks dispensers that have that little spout that you pop your drink in, you turn the spout and your drink, whatever drink you put in it, your drink of choice comes out. So that's what I'm making, just a mini version to adorn my tea and tray. I'm using a very tiny terracotta pot that I have had for so many years now. I got a very large set of them years ago at a place called Whittington's and I'm using that terracotta pot. I've painted it white using Rust-Oleum chalk paint and I've got a little jar that came with um, celery salt and I've painted the cover of the jar and I've added a yellow wooden bead on top and then I've used a straw from one of my children's um, Capri Sun drinks and I've cut it down and I've made the spout. So now I'm going to assemble it 
and then I'll pop some clear glue clear kids school glue that I also picked up at Wilco's and again I'll repeat my step of colouring it using my mustard coloured Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I've just glued my jar to my terracotta pot and beneath it I put some faux, um, what is it called? It is faux moss that I picked up at Poundland and I've used my hot glue and the hot glue works really really well to adhere things like this. Now I picked up these very tiny lemon, half lemon slices from eBay and they were simply MDF cutouts and I've painted them rather, rather crudely. I've just plopped a bit of that yellow Rust-Oleum chalk paint on them and I am going to use them to decorate my lemonade drink in my full drink dispenser. I've stirred in my yellow chalk paint and now I am going to finish up this full drink dispenser then I'm moving right along into creating my full lemonade drinks so it's basically little mini um, bottles and um, tiny mason jars and stuff like that that I've collected that I will be putting um, paper straws in. I'll cut the paper straws down to size and I will repeat the same step as before putting the clear glue into the containers and then adding in a few drops of my yellow chalk paint from Rust-Oleum then I will be stirring them in until all of the paint is dispersed so we get that um, slightly yellow lemonade color I would have liked to get a brighter yellow color but I think the color that I've achieved works really well you can't really see it properly on the camera but it does look like a glass of lemonade so after I've poured in all of the um, clear glue I'll stir in a few drops of my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in yellow and I will add in the straws and there we'll have quite a few little mini cups for decorating my tiered trays.
It's taking quite a while for me to get the clear glue poured into my glasses and little jars however I am finding it oddly relaxing just watching the glue being poured I'm not sure if anyone else will share that sentiment but I really should have in hindsight sped up this little section I really am sorry it does take a little while for me to get the glue poured in and get the paint mixed in properly and afterwards we will move to the next step in the process which is adding in some of the lemon slices and I really do hope that this video inspires you to try a craft everything isn't for everyone but there definitely is a craft out there that absolutely everyone can enjoy there is something out there for everyone that everyone will have a liking to I'm sure absolutely certain so I will encourage you to try crafting try a DIY you know try to do something creative it really does lift the spirits it really does give a sense of accomplishment. So the video has finally now sped up and that is lovely. And all of these items that I'm making in this video today are to decorate my tiered trays. You know, early on I came across quite a few videos where I recognised people decorating tiered trays last year. And when I first started searching for tiered trays, I tried Amazon, I tried eBay and the few that I found were really pricey. Then I came across a lovely video here on YouTube by a lady called Heidi Sonbo and she made some really beautiful tiered trays using canvas frames so I made quite a few tiered trays following her, her video and then I popped into TK Maxx which is a store that we have over here in the UK and what did I see but tiered trays and they weren't £40 or £60 or £90 they were $14.99, $16.99, there were some for $9.99 and even $12.99. So if you fancy getting yourself a tiered tray, if the prices on Amazon or eBay aren't right for you, do have a look in TK Maxx, all right? So now we're moving right along into our next item. And the next item is a frame it is basically a little framed beehive now I came across lots and lots of beehives that people were making to adorn their tiered trays for um, their summer seasonal decor and some of them are a bit big and I came up with an idea to put this beehive into a frame add in a few flowers um, add in two, um, you know, wooden bees that I had made with two wooden beads. And I really think it came out really lovely. Have a look and I hope you'll have a go trying to make one of your own.
Another item that's commonly used in lots of tiered tray decor is um, a garland. Now what I'm making here is a beaded garland using wooden beads that I've gotten from Amazon. Now I'm certain that you can get wooden beads, I think I've seen them on um, Hobbycraft. You can definitely get them on eBay but I've not come across them in stores like Poundland, I've not seen them in the works. Um, it might be that the works in my area don't carry it but um, works in other areas might do. So you can source wooden beads in large packs on Amazon. They're not too bad. You can get variety packs, you can get specific sizes of beads, but this wooden garland really does enhance any tiered tree. It's beautiful tiered tree decor and I hope you really like it. What I've done here is I've attached a lovely wooden flower to one end of my beaded garland. This wooden flower I purchased from Amazon so you can pop on and you can see the different variations of items that they've got available. They've got flowers, they've got hens, loads. Now what I'm going to do now is to the other end of my wooden garland I am going to attach a tassel. And it's a really quick make. I just make the tassel using jute twine and a little bit of baker's twine mixed in. Now you do not have to attach a wooden flower or a tassel to your beaded garland. Now the beaded garland is a really versatile decor item. You can use it to decor, to decorate, sorry, tiered trays. You can use it to decorate risers, you can use it just to decorate around your home to pop into a tray, anywhere that it suits you. And it's an item that you can personalize, you can make it to the exact specifications that you want, you can make it as long as you want, you can make it with tassels, without tassels, you can have tassels on both ends, or you can choose not to have tassels at all. So it's a really lovely item and it's something that's really easy that absolutely anyone can make. I finished my tassel at the other end of my beaded garland and I am just making a really quick, really simple and easy jute twine bow and it's just to add a bit more decoration to the tassel on my beaded garland. This next DIY is my own take 
on a tear tray DIY decor piece that I saw a lovely lady make on YouTube and she used a few wooden serving spoons and she attached some wooden beads so what I'm doing here is I am putting a little bit of hot glue at the end of my jute um, twine and I'm going to just roll it around in my finger just to make it a little firmer so it's easier to get it through the holes on our wooden beads and you'll see me in a second take my um, pliers and just try to clear the center of the wooden beads all in an effort to make it easier to get the jute twine through it now i will leave you and i'll let you see how i go about decorating these lovely mini ice cream scoops that i came across on amazon now these were really reasonably priced i think for the pack of four i paid something about like 3.99 pound 99 p So what I did to save time and effort was I threaded all of my wooden beads onto my jute string or twine, jute twine, and then I'm separating them into groups of three to attach them to my mini ice cream scoops. So hot glue definitely is, as the name suggests, very hot, very, very hot. So do be careful when you're working with your hot glue gun. And I've seen some of the lovely ladies on YouTube use what I think is a face mask applicator. It's silicone and I've seen some of the ladies use one of those just to press 
anything that they've applied hot glue to to make sure that it adheres properly so that is an idea that i think i'm going to try i think i'll try and find one of those applicators on amazon or in one of my local shops I really do apologize really I'm sorry that I keep going out of frame here but what I'm doing is I am um, now that I've attached the three beads I am just gluing the rest of the jute twine to the end of the ice cream scoop just to hold everything in place And I'm moving right along into my next tiered tray mini DIY project and I will it's, it's a very simple one really really simple and I purchased these mini whisks from Amazon as well and what I'm going to be doing is just wrapping jute twine around the black handles just to give it a look that ties in with the other decor that I've made and at the end of it after I've wrapped the jute twine round I will add a jute twine bow. My final tiered tray DIYs will be this lovely mini wooden rolling pin that, that I am going to decorate by painting it with white and green Rust-Oleum chalk paint and these three mini book stacks. Now these um, mini book stacks I made using wooden building blocks that my son and my last daughter played with for ages they no longer use them and so I've decided to recycle them and use them to make lovely mini book stacks to decorate my tiered trays Now if you have managed to hang in there and stay till this point in my video, you are an absolute star. I love you, thank you so so much. It means absolutely the world to me. Now I enjoy hanging out here on YouTube, spending time with everyone, sharing my seasonal decor, transitional home decor my DIY home decor ideas here on YouTube it really is fantastic and 
I have found so much inspiration, such lovely people here on this platform, just a safe place where you can simply explore the things that you enjoy. And I love Christmas. I absolutely am mad about Christmas. It is the absolute best time of the year. And being here on YouTube in 2020, I came to love seasonal decor. So if you enjoy beauty box unboxings, shopping hauls, charity shop hauls, having a bit of a chat, DIY videos, anything like that, please do consider clicking the subscribe button and joining our family here at Nadine's 360 Living. We would love to have you. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time for time is precious. Now, keep choosing joy, keep smiling, keep taking care of yourself. Remember that you are precious, you are special and God loves you. If you can manage to hang on, you'll see that I've used my lovely Cricut machine and I've cut out some words just to add to my lovely wooden rolling pin and my lovely book stacks. And if you keep hanging on there, you will see how everything has turned out and how it looks when I've placed it on my tiered trays and added it to the decoration around my home. Bye. Thanks again.